Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making my version of chicken fried rice. The seasonings I basically use in this is going to be soy sauce, light soy sauce, and ground ginger, and garlic and herb seasoning, salt free. Um, and pepper if you want. You could put it in, in any seasoning that you want, but that's what I use. I'd already cut up my onions, celery, and carrots. I sprayed them with a little bit of Pam and I put those two seasonings on and I put them in the microwave for about two minutes just to get like a little bit of the hardness off them. I open my can of mushrooms, I drain them and I rinse them. My garlic, I have three eggs there that I'm gonna scramble. I have my rice which I already did. I use jasmine rice. I don't like using white rice because it clumps and jasmine rice has like kind of a nutty flavor which I really really like. Um, my broccoli, my garlic, and my boneless skinless chicken breast which I cubed and I sprayed it with Pam and I seasoned, seasoned it with my garlic and herb seasoning and my ground ginger. And instead of using a wok I use my cast iron skillet which I use for basically all my cooking. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry my chicken first and then after I do that I'm going to take the chicken out of the cast iron skillet and I'm going to fry my vegetables up and when I get that all done I'll get back to y'all. Okay guys I wanted to give you a little update. My veggies are frying away. They look really really good. They're just about done and my chicken is done. And I wanted to tell you as a little tip, as soon as the chicken turns white, please take it off. It's going to get tough and it's going to be as dry as hell. And that really makes for a bad dish, no matter what kind of dish you're making with chicken. Okay, everybody. My vegetables are done. I put my egg in with my chicken. I don't know if you can see that very well. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ready to make my sauce. I use... Great value. I don't know if you can see that. It's less sodium soy sauce. What I do is I make a cup of it, but I only use a half a cup of the low sodium soy sauce, and then I fill the rest of the cup up with water because to me it's still too salty. But you could do whatever you want to do. That's your preference. <clears throat> and then I use a chicken bouillon. I have about four cups back there. But like I said, I water mine down because I use low sodium bouillon. But you could use whatever you want. And I just pour, pour it all into a saucepan. And then I thicken it with cornstarch and water, which I have here. And um, I'll put a little bit of ginger in there. And you could put some red, uh, crushed red pepper flakes in there. Um, I used to do that, but then it got a little too hot for me, so I have to cool it on the hot stuff for me and my husband, so, but it, it tastes really, really good, so that's an idea if you want to do that. So I'm going to do that, and when that's done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so my sauce is done, and it's on the thinner side, and that's the way I want it because I want it to absorb into the rice, and as it sits, it will get thicker. I did, however, add some of that garlic and herb seasoning and uh, a little tip to get it to the fullest thickening consistency that you want. Always bring your gravies or sauces up to a boil and then you'll know how thick it's actually going to be. Now I'm going to add my sauce into the dish and I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done. Okay everybody, so here's the finished chicken fried rice. I hope y'all enjoyed my video, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And until next time, happy cooking.